it so happened that in the early days in Mecca, the Muslims were suffering a huge amount of oppression. In fact, the pagan Meccans were really persecuting the Muslims terribly. A lot of them, of course, were very poor people. And things became so bad that they decided they had to leave. So the Prophet Muhammad, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, he told his followers to go to Abyssinia and he said, there is a king who will never do you injustice. So anyway, they migrated to Abyssinia. Now it happened that the Quraysh had very good relationships with uh, the Abyssinians and uh, knew personally the king of Abyssinia and they sent a delegation. Their object was to try and retrieve the Meccans who had escaped and bring them back with them. So anyway, Nagus uh, ordered the emigrants who had come to his country to his court and he asked them about their religion and what was this claim and Jafar ibn Abu Talib who was the leader of the Muslims in, in Abyssinia gave this very beautiful little speech and this is how he explained their condition to the king he said oh king we were an ignorant people worshipping idols, eating carrion, and indulging in sexual pleasures. We ridiculed our neighbors. A brother oppressed his brother, and the strong devoured the weak. At this time, a man rose amongst us, who had already been known to be truthful, noble, and honest. This man called us to Islam, and he taught us to give up worshipping stones, to speak the truth, to refrain from bloodshed, and not to defraud the orphans of their property. He taught us to provide comfort to our neighbors and not to bring slander against chaste women. He enjoined on us to offer the prayers, observe fasts and give charity. We followed him, gave up polytheism and idolatry and refrained from all evil deeds. It is for this new way that our people have become hostile to us and compel us to return to our old misguided life. Now when the king of Abyssinia heard that, he said that there is no way that I will return these people to you. There is nothing that they have done wrong and they are free to stay and live in my kingdom. So anyway, the Muslims left thinking that was at the end of it. But no, the delegation of Quraysh were not going to give up so easily. One of them thought to himself, I know, let's tell Nagus what they say about Jesus. So they went to Nagus and they said, and he said to him, you know the Muslims, they don't say that Jesus is God or the son of God. They say he's only a prophet of God. Ask them what they believe about Jesus and you will see they even insult your own religion. Nagus called them back to the court the other day. And Jafar ibn Abu Talib, he was very worried, he didn't really know what to say, but he determined to speak the truth and to tell him exactly what was in the Quran. So Nagus asked him, what do you say about Jesus? So Jafar said, we say what our Prophet says, that he is a messenger from Allah and his word, which he bestowed upon Mary and a spirit from him. So this is what we believe concerning Jesus and that he was given the Injil. And when Nagus heard that, he said, truly, Jesus said nothing more than that about himself. What is this book that you read? Nagus asked. And Jafar ibn Abu Talib, he read the first few verses of Surah al maryam Indeed, I am the servant of God. Indeed, I am the servant of God, Abdullah. And he has given me the scripture and made me a prophet. And he has made me blessed wherever I am and has enjoined upon me prayer and zakah as long as I remain alive and made me dutiful to my mother. And he has not made me a wretched tyrant. And peace be on me the day I was born, and the day I will die, and the day I am raised alive. That is Jesus, the son of Mary, the word of truth about which they are in dispute. It is not befitting 
for God to take a son, exalted is he. When he decrees an affair, he only says to it, be and it is. And Jesus said, and indeed, God is my Lord and your Lord. So worship him. That is a straight path. Nagus began to cry and so did many of the assembled courtiers, even the bishops, they began to cry because of these beautiful words about Jesus in the Quran. And then Nega said, Verily, what your prophet has brought and what Jesus said are two things from the same source. You are free to stay and live in my kingdom. In fact, this same Nagus of Abyssinia himself converted to Islam. He most certainly recognized the truth that Muhammad, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, was a prophet of God.